<laughs> Other changes that we have made for user experience are in the TEI dashboard. So if you can see, um, this is the track entity instance dashboard. And in the old app, it looked like this that you're gonna see in a minute. So this is the, the previous version. You can see here that this is a button to open the, the attributes, the details of the track entity instance. And this is a button that is used to share the TI using QR codes. So this functionality is widely used. It's very uh, common to edit the details of your track entity instance, but sharing the track entity instance is not that common, but we had it here in the middle of the screen. So the way this works now, and this is the actual login that I wanted to make before. We have given all the space to the open, and we have included the, the track entity type name in the button to make it more intuitive. So open malaria entity details, and we have moved the share to a secondary menu because it's less used. Another change here is the new event button always visible. So in the previous version of the app, to create an event, for example, here, you had to open so that the users see how many events are already there and then create. So this was two clicks to create an event because we wanted to make sure that they can see the list of previous events, not to create um, stages if are not required. However, this, those two clicks were not, we got some feedback that we could improve that. And then what happens now is that if you already have events, the, the option to create uh, events is there. Because before, if you are in this screen, it's not clear that you can actually create an event by pushing here, it's hidden. You cannot see the icon. So the icon is always exposed, but now when you click, if there are events, we expand and we show you the events. But with one click, you see the events and you can create a new event. So that's the, the, the change mainly. Um, 